Hi Aries, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is showing up at this time for you. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. What is going on for Aries? Aries, Aries. All right. Something unexpected. Distance. Could be traveling. Could be a masculine energy. Finding closure. Okay, I'm going to read this a couple different ways. Okay. Yes, don't overthink it. Okay. You may be hearing from someone, it could be masculine energy, uh, uh, someone who doesn't live near you, who may be reaching out. They may have be at the end of a relationship or something, and they may be finding closure with like a marriage, like they got divorced, so now maybe they're going to be contacting you. You may find out someone is actually in a car a crash, or they may ride a motorcycle or something like that. I don't get like there's anything like, I mean, if it is, it, I don't get like they die or anything. I'm just kind of getting someone who's far away from you, possibly physically or emotionally, maybe. This could also be a breakup. It says, don't overthink it. Yes. You could find out something unexpected online also about someone who like they, they are actually in married now. Like and you, you were wondering about this person. I don't get it's like, like for a moment, maybe it's disappointing. But it's kind of like something you haven't been involved with for a while. So it's like, okay, they're married, they're, they're moved on, I'm good with that, whatever. It's like unexpected news is what I'm seeing here. See, the tarot is talking about the, the person who might have been married, though, being divorced, out in the cold, wanting to reach out. So the tarot is talking about the one person who I just talked about who you may find out they have closure with a, another relationship. Because usually when the unexpected card shows up, it's good news. But it, I don't always want to like say it has to be. So I'm kind of thinking, you know, there could be someone who, um, it could be a Gemini or Taurus. I'm also getting Libra or Aquarius. Could be reaching out to you out of the blue, but they like got a divorce or something or they're ending something with another person. Well, what should Aries do about this? What should Aries do about this person? Tower, Ten of Coins, King of Cups, maybe a water sign reaching out, wondering how you're doing, wanting to know if you have a new beginning, wanting to date you. This person wants to start over. They want a new relationship you have with you. They may apologize for something in the past. They may be a Leo. But um, I think, no, I think they're going to be strong. They're going to actually apologize. A lot of people have a hard time showing that, you know that they miss you or they're wrong and they're going to be wanting to connect with you. Yeah, the tarot is clear as day. So this person went through a breakup. Now I'm going to read it one other slight way. I'm sorry, but maybe they had some sort of near death experience or maybe something has really changed their mind about something. So maybe they're like, Hey, I'm going to give this a chance with you. So, um, how's Aries? How are you going to feel about this person? Let me do a different deck. Let me do a different deck. I'm going to give you the whole deck. How are you going to feel about this person suddenly reaching out to you? happy okay good so it is good news all right so I get like this is someone who like hasn't been online a whole lot they're not updating their status they're either you know online um, accounts they took pictures from, like six seven months ago it's like not something that you really follow it's not something that you're really like even thinking about because you probably know that they are in a relationship and so you weren't really focused on them so when you find this out again good news How's it going to go between Aries and this person? Letting the past go. Oh, they walk. They may have been with a water sign. Or they are a water sign, something like that. But they may have walked away from a water sign. Letting the past go with a water sign, Justice. Okay. What is the future of you and this person, though? Moving forward. I feel like you guys have some water under the bridge. I feel like there may have been a third party in the past or they chose somebody over you or something like that maybe they're going to be like hey you're right that's remember the strength card came out that's like admitting to like being wrong with the five of cups next to it that's like saying yeah you're right that other person was you know a piece of shit or something i'm sorry so they want to let the past go eight of cups and the chariot and they're hoping you will too and you'll like forgive forgive them but again like i said i'm going to repeat myself i'm sorry I do get like you're going to get credit for something. They're going to be like, nope, you're right. You called it. That person was, you know, a liar or whatever. You're absolutely right. 
I feel like you have potential with this person. Yeah, I feel like... Hmm. They may have killed the love, though. You know, like, when someone really breaks your heart, especially more than once, that, like, the love is kind of gone. And you're kind of like, well, I don't feel the same way. The Two Cups has the death after it, so that's interesting. And you got the Three of Swords here as well. I kind of feel like you're looking at this like, well, this could work from maybe a financial standpoint. You know, maybe we could build something or, or you know, try and see or, you know, Ace of Coins to start over. You're not, like, madly in love with them anymore, though. So this could have been someone that you have deep feelings for. But they broke your heart by doing this. And so you're kind of like looking at it like, okay, we can give this a chance, but I'm not gonna, I'm not like head over heels for you. You know what I mean? It's like, it is what it is. All right, you're gonna have to put a little work in her. They are, there may have been a Pisces or a Sagittarius involved in the past. Um, you might, it might take you a moment to forgive the past or get over it. You may have a few questions about it, wondering to know what happened. But um, they see you as being very strong and resilient, very confident. They could be an air sign. This could be them if you date women. I feel like this person is very attracted to you. I feel like this person is like really excited to rekindle this with you. Okay. They're actually, they are, I'm feeling like they are, they're excited. They're excited to see you again and talk to you and be around you. And uh, they're more into you though, Aries, than you are into them. So I'm kind of getting uh, you. I'm getting some up being cooked or overcooked. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's just like a metaphor for being like, you're not, you know, like you felt burned by this person at one point. And so you're kind of like, I don't know. But I think what this spirit's saying is like, don't overthink it. Maybe go out on a date, see what they have to say. See how you feel. See if you can rekindle this. Um, I'll let them say something here really quick, and then I'm going to move to a different deck and see what other message is. Probably the same thing, but I'll try. Yeah, this ring, right off the bat, please accept my apology. What else for Aries? I wish I could have loved you the way you deserve to be loved. I think someone is seeing, like, the error of their way. Like, they were just kind of a flake, or... All right, let's keep going. Never felt anything like this before. Again, I think I get like they're excited to see you. Like they really are looking forward to visiting you and going out. Okay, let's just keep going here. I struggle with revealing my true feelings and emotions and I'm lost in this world. Without you, I get lonely. Okay. All right. I feel like you guys may have been friends at one point. I also feel like maybe some of you, few of you, maybe you guys like, I don't know, went to college or something like that where you guys had like this bond or this sorority or this, you know, um, I don't know, this like, you guys had inside jokes or something. Okay, what else is going on for Aries and other places? I, you know, I was thinking some, something about a house, maybe maybe relocating, looking for a home or selling a home or buying a home or something, or also something about your parents' home or a family home may be important. Stability and security. Some of you will be getting, maybe that's also what you see with this person. You could see like, well, wait a minute, maybe we could get a home together. There's a lot of stability with this person. Something like that. Also, I'm getting something about a, ha a haunted house. I don't know if there's a haunted house around you or someone feels like their house is haunted or I don't know why that's coming through. Maybe the spirits are getting more restless because it's going to Halloween. I don't know. But um, that's... This person may want to relocate and buy a home near you. I think this person is looking for something stable, something secure. So... I don't think they want to move in with you, just FYI. I'm not getting that at all. I don't get like they're a mooch or anything like that. I just kind of get like they are looking for, um, I don't know. Uh, I feel like they could be a homebody though. Like, like they want to be in a relationship. They don't like to be on their own for too long. Lock or unlock. I feel like this could open doors for you, open a new beginning. Again, some of you may end up with a house because of this connection, if you don't already have one, or a new house, or a different house, success and prior. Some of you will be buying your own home. I feel like you're going to be very proud of yourself if you bought one already, or you're going to be buying one in the future. Some of you may also may be passing a test with the keys I'm getting, unlocking your future, unlocking a career path. Someone, it could be in finance, or, or homes, or real estate, or something, property, something like that. But I kind of get like... Um, I'm also getting for some of you, if you were thinking about relocating because you feel like the prospects for like work or housing or homes is better, it probably is if you've done your research. 
I kind of get like you're in some place where like it's not flourishing, things aren't growing, there's not as many opportunities. So yeah, I do kind of get like relocating would bring in better opportunities for you, definitely. So for somebody that's on your mind and that's like a, a yes, what are the messages for Aries? You could be dealing with someone named Jason. I'm getting the name Jason all of a sudden come through, or that could be your name. Just breathe. That's like the four swords, not thinking too much, not overthinking and building blocks, wanting to build something, co-create. I feel like you have some really good ideas, Aries. I feel like you're onto something. I feel like you're really smart and you are looking to your future just like that car. Like you, like you already have things to build on. You don't have to start from scratch. Just keep doing what you're doing. Some of you are also very like hyper, a lot of energy, and you need to slow it down and like focus. You're too unfocused. But if you do that for just a moment, you're going to see some potential opportunities around you that you've missed. I guess maybe making a lot of money. I get some of you actually, like if you can do this and build, the, you know, put things together this way. I see you combining two different businesses. I don't know, like selling homes, but also selling furnishings in the homes or something else, or like helping people buy homes and something else. It's like, I could see you being a millionaire. I see some of you becoming very wealthy. And like it's spinning off into other things as well. I, don't know, I see you doing this very well overall, Aries. <clears throat> okay. Uh, what else does Aries need to know? I don't know. Some of you were religious. I'm getting the name Jesus again. So I don't know if that's Jesus or if that's something spiritual. That came through someone else's. So I don't know what that means. If that means leaving religion, going towards religion, a certain person, living near a church or something, or getting involved with someone who is religious possibly someone is secretly yearning for you the longing card longing for what longing for interference no interference regret oh this is that person leap of faith that was came was coming through originally they want to come back into the reading so they regret whoever they let interfere some other guy or girl it showed look like a water sign but it could be anyone they regret that what do they want what are they longing for with aries what do they want with you? Okay, this person feels out in the cold. They want the Ten of Cups. Some of you is like they, they want a family. They want, and it doesn't necessarily mean like having kids, but I mean like, like if you have other people around you or family or they want to be part of something, they feel very lonely and cut. I'm getting like cut off from society. So I don't know if this is you or someone else who you, maybe you feel like where you live, you're not really part of things. You feel kind of left out. This could be them though. person already has plans I'm getting like they already have big plans too with you like they have like they want to move and build something with you and they've already got things mapped out they know what they want um let me go to one other deck here before I close I feel like we already said all this this already came through so I don't want to keep repeating it what else for Aries so maybe you could be also dealing with someone with a B name like I got Ben or Benjamin or this person thinks you're very attractive I got Bonita that's pretty, right? I don't speak Spanish, but I think that's pretty. Um, so, or handsome. Someone also has a cat. I get a cat involved, a black cat or something. I don't know why that's coming through. That's okay. Yeah, love. It says unconditional love, self-love, self selflessness, and a love call of reaching out. I think you should give this person a chance and just see where it goes. See where your heart leads you. I feel like if nothing else, you could have a lot of fun with this person. Especially if you've been feeling kind of bored lately or something. But um, one more message from this deck. I feel like you have more things going on around you as far as money and houses too. Or, you know, housing, homes, where you live, property. Friendship. Okay. A friend needs your help. Your kindness and excellent counseling skills will put them back on track. So I wasn't expecting that. So someone around you may need some of your really good advice, Aries. Some of you may be tarot readers or you may be... Um, counselors or maybe that's something you're good at you're a good listener and you have good advice maybe you have a lot of like life experience and that, that always you know can help other people if you know more but I'm getting overwhelmed so I don't know if some of you are just overwhelmed maybe that's why the breathe card came out right I feel like some of you guys are just like running like running on empty like you've been drinking a lot of coffee but not eating healthy but you've been like just like a lot of energy burning energy running going 
so you might want to just kind of slow it down you don't want to wear yourself out but all right aries i'm gonna leave it here you guys have a great weekend